They don't get tired, their hands don't tremble, and their patients make a faster recovery. Robot surgeons are increasingly used in NHS hospitals, but the revolution has only just begun. It's a sort of see-through vision. Robotic technology will in future give surgeons superhuman powers. This probe being developed at Imperial College London not only warns a brain surgeon when they're pressing too hard on delicate tissue, but it also reveals the structures that lie beneath using scans taken before the operation. If you're closing in on this aneurysm, you'd really want to be aware of the forces that are applied. Uh, it's, it's very easy to, to apply too much force and then suddenly rupture it. You're able to warn the surgeon ahead of time to prevent damage. Shrinking technology is allowing scientists to make robotic tools too small to see with the naked eye. These are less than half the width of a human hair and dexterous enough to move a microscopic ball. It could one day be possible to operate on individual cells at the earliest stage of disease. The type of robot we are making, actually getting smaller and smaller, can be actually delivered in the needle form. So therefore you don't need to make incisions. So they can actually follow the uh, curved anatomical pathways reaching to the side. If I think about flicking it up lightly, it opens like that. that... Robotics of a different kind, yeah, so and for Dan well, Melville, it's life-changing. Yep, so this is me uh, trying to test it out and see how it goes. It's the first time I'm actually testing it, so uh, I looked at myself. By tensing his arm muscles, he can control his bionic digits, changing his grip to pick up different objects. It's sophisticated technology, but has been printed in just a few hours, sized to fit and in his choice of colour. You can customise it, you can change the colour, so if uh, I, I go on it black and orange and red, you could have whatever you want and you would just, and I, I personally think it's a fantastic opportunity to just kind of show who you really are in your arm, so it makes it more personalised for you as well. High-end bionic hands can cost up to £90,000, beyond the reach of the NHS, but Open Bionics hopes to launch its own version by the end of next year, the price less than £2,000. All of the grip patterns that the advanced bionic hands can do, all of the movements, we are replicating, and the manufacturing techniques that they're, they're using um, is a very expensive manufacturing process, whereas we have desktop 3D printers that just print using plastic filaments. I mean, you couldn't, they're worlds apart, the, the manufacturing methods. Um, so that's how we can be so low cost. Patients and surgeons enhanced by robotic technology. We're entering the age of the cyborg. Thomas Moore, Sky News.